Hey, first grade, today we are going to continue talking about numbers to 40. We're actually going to be comparing numbers and we're going to use the tens and ones to help us figure out numbers that are greater and numbers that are less. Now, in order to do that, let's review a little bit about the place value chart. When we make a place value chart, we start with our cross or our T shape. We label it with tens to the left and ones to the right. Now today we're going to use popsicle sticks to represent our tens and ones. So here I have bundles of popsicle sticks, 10 in each bundle, and single popsicle sticks for our ones. So we would count our bundles as 10, 20, or two groups of 10, and our single popsicle sticks, one, two, three, four, making the number 24. Now let's look at two numbers. On the left, I see that I have two groups of 10 and I have five ones, making the number 25. On the right, I have three groups of 10 and two ones, making the number 32. Now my focus is going to go to the tens and I see on the left that I have two groups of 10 and on the right that I have three groups of 10. When my tens are different, it helps me figure out which number is greater because I know that 30 or three groups of 10 is greater than 20, two groups of 10. So therefore I know that 32 is my greater number. 25 is less than 32. Let's try another one. On the left, I have three groups of 10 and three ones. And on the right, I have two groups of 10 and six ones. Again, I'm going to focus on the tens. So on the number 33, I see I have three groups of 10. And on the number 26, I only have two groups of 10. I know that 30 is greater than 20. Therefore, I know that 33 is my greater number and 26 is less. Now let's talk about if the tens are equal. So on the left, I have two groups of 10 and four ones. And on the right, I have two groups of 10 and one one. Now I'm gonna first really look at the tens and I'm gonna notice that they're equal. So therefore, I'm gonna look over at the ones. And in the number 24, I have four ones. In the number 21, I only have one one. That helps me know that if the tens are equal in the ones, the four is greater than the one. Therefore, 24 is greater and 21 is less than 24. Let's try another one. On the left is the number 33, three groups of 10, three ones, and on the right, three groups of 10 and six ones. Take a look at my tens. I see that they're equal. So that doesn't really help me out. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the ones. On the number 33, I have three ones. And the number 36, I have six ones. I know that six is greater than three. Therefore, 36 is my greater number. And 33 is less than 36. Now let's compare three numbers. We do this in the same way. We focus on the tens and then we focus on the ones. So let's start with the number far on the left. That is two groups of 10 and two ones, making the number 22. In the middle, three groups of 10, six ones, making the number 36. And on the right, two groups of 10 and four ones. Now I wanna put these, these numbers in order from greatest to least. So my first thing I need to do is check out my tens. I notice that the number in the middle has the greatest number of tens. It's got three groups of 10. That helps me figure out my greatest number and that is 36. And what I like to do when I'm done comparing numbers like this is I like to cross out the ones I've used. Therefore, I know that I only have two numbers left to, to, to look at. So I'm going to look at 24 and 22. What I notice is that now my tens are equal. So my tens aren't going to help me anymore. Now I need to look to the ones. 
I see that I have 24, I have four ones over on the right and only two ones on the left. So my next number, if I'm starting at the greatest and going to the least, my next number will be 24 because it's got a greater number, four, than 22. And I cross that out, leaving me with my least number, 22. All right, let's try another one. This time we're not gonna use popsicle sticks, we're just gonna look at the numbers. We're gonna compare 31, 29, and 23. And this time we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna put it in order from least to greatest. So now I'm looking for my least number. First thing I do, check out those tens. I have three groups of 10, I have two groups of 10, and I have two groups of 10. So I have to focus just on the yellow chili pepper and the red one because those ones only have two groups of 10. I'm trying to find my least number. Now because they have equal tens, now I look over to my ones. And I see on my yellow chili pepper, I have nine ones. And I see on my red chili pepper, I only have three. And I know that three is less than nine. And since I'm going from least to greatest, I know that 23 is my least number. And I'm going to go ahead and cross it out to know that I've used that already. Okay, and because this one has two tens and this one has three tens, I know that this is going to be my greatest over here. So I'm going to stick my 29 as the next greater number and cross that out. And that leaves me with my greatest number, the green chili pepper, 31. All right, now it's your turn. So you're going to get out your paper and pencil, your whiteboard and marker, whatever you're using to write today, and you are gonna number to five. Now I've numbered a little bit different today. I've put the number across, uh, the numbers across from each other and I'll show you why. Today you are going to be writing out two numbers and you're going to circle the number that is greater. And I put them side by side so that you know they both go with that direction. When you number, don't forget to put a period after the number. You put the number one and don't forget that period because it separates the number one from your two numbers that you're working with. So either that or you can circle the number one, that works too. So number to five, please. Your first direction, you're gonna write both numbers and you're gonna circle the number that is greater for number one and two. For number three and number four, you're gonna do the same thing setting it up, but this time it says circle the number that is less. So you're going to circle the number between the two that is less. And for number five, you're going to order these numbers that you see here from least to greatest. Okay, so you're just going to take those three numbers and you're going to put them in order from least to greatest. All right, so now it's time for you to pause this video, get your work done, and then come back here and check it out. Check your work, see if you got the, the answers correct. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back first grade. Hope you did well on this. Um, check your work. If you need to pause the video again to check your work, go ahead and pause it, see how you did. Um, I'm sure you did really well with this. It's something that we've done in the class, we just haven't done numbers this high yet. But the concept is the same, so I'm sure this feels really confident for you guys. I hope it does. We're gonna keep practicing this throughout the week, so you'll have more opportunity to practice if you didn't get them all right. So hope you had fun, and I'll see you soon, first grade.